Um, now, exercise is important. It's not urgent. It doesn't need to be done right now. You could do it tomorrow. You could do it next week. Hell, you could even do it next month or next year. It, what's the consequence if you don't exercise? Apart from you feeling, well, you know, guilty about not exercising. There is no importance. Um, sorry, there is no urgence. There is a lot of importance because we know how important exercise is. There are many health benefits physically, mentally, um, self-esteem, um, how you feel about yourself, what you see in the mirror, and obviously your health as well, such as prevention in disease, and um, uh, such as cancer and um, stroke and so on. Now, <clears throat> all the tasks in this second quadrant are things that don't need to be done immediately. If you ask yourself, what, if anything, if you did it consistently over a sustained period of time would lead to you accomplishing your goals and feeling better about yourself and enhancing your life. Where would those tasks fall in quadrants one, two, three, and four? Now, if you think about it closely, all those tasks are gonna fall into that second quadrant because these are things that need to be done consistently. So they're obviously very important because they are going to affect your quality of life but they don't need to be done now because all the things that need to be done now don't necessarily need to be done consistently that you're not already doing. Um, so as you can see, these ta quadrant two tasks absolutely need attention. Now, the, the thing is that many of us don't do these quadrant two tasks because we're often too concerned with the urgent column. Um, obviously, quadrant one needs to be done straight away. We need to get those tasks out of the way. Otherwise, there are gonna be some significant consequences. But many of us spend our time in quadrant two. All these useless interruptions, distractions, um, other things that aren't important to us at all, many of us spend our time there thinking, well, these are important, but they're not important. They're only urgent. And the problem is that many of us see urgency as importance. Just because something needs to be done now does not mean that it is urgent. Think about the consequence of not doing that task. What's gonna happen? If there is no consequence to you, or um, obviously no real consequence or um, negative outcome of not doing those tasks, then scrap it. Get rid of it because it's not urgent. Same with quadrant number four. If you're spending hours and hours and hours lying down on the couch, well, why not put that time to better use? It's not urgent. It's not important. If anything, you're doing yourself a disservice because even though it may feel good at the time lying down and relaxing, you're gonna feel bad about it because you know you're not doing these quadrant two tasks that need to be done to improve your quality of life. Now, this quadrant two area, is so important and exercising comes down to priority. Really, if you don't prioritize exercise at this point in your life, then you've got to rethink your strategy and how you go about your day-to-day -day life. Um, if you want to accomplish a particular goal, lose weight, build muscle, or just improve your general health, exercise is vital. It is important and you need to identify that and look at your week and say, well, these tasks are not as important as exercising. Although I may have things coming up left, right and centre, and you know I've got a meeting here, and then I've got to stay back at work, and then I've got to go grocery shopping, exercise is still very, very important. Don't be deceived by urgency, because urgency can really deteriorate from your quality of life. You must identify that exercise is important, and therefore integrate that into your day-to-day -day routine. Now, one final thought that I do wanna leave you with, I think this is very, very important. Um, these task two quadrants can move into this first quadrant um, if they are disregarded for a long period of time. For example, if something's not urgent, like if you've got a deadline, but it's a year in advance and you put it off, put it off, for example, um, say in high school or, or university, um, not studying all year long and then exam time comes, well, it wasn't urgent, but it was very important all your study. 
and then it moves into urgent. So you're cramming and cramming and cramming and you know, you, the, the study has to be done. Well, the same is true for, for exercise and the same is true for any of these tasks in, in quadrant two. Uh, what you want to avoid is neglecting your body long term because if you do not exercise throughout your life when you're young and when you're fit and when you're able, the day is going to come when your doctor or a medical professional will advise you that exercise is imminent. Exercise must be accomplished and completed because your life depends on it and your health depends on it and your quality of life greatly depends on it. It is going to come and when that day comes, exercise moves from this second quadrant into this first quadrant. In all likelihood, exercise will then be completed only because it needs to be completed then and there. But here's the thing, exercise at that point in your life, that almost inevitable point in your life, is just as important as what it is right now. The only difference is that it's more urgent. Think about that because if urgent tasks make you do something, it is likely that you are mixing up urgency and importance. If you put in the time and ensure that you invest your time wisely now, ensure, um, with, with a focus on long-term gratification, these non-urgent tasks will never become urgent. You will never have to put out fires in your life and your quality of life will be significantly enhanced. So anyway, have a thought about that. I think um, that, that is a great food for thought, um, these important tasks and just going through your day-to-day -day life, what is important, what is urgent. Um, go through that, plan everything out and, um, and, and re-evaluate what you're doing now so you can improve your quality of life and accomplish the goals that you want to achieve. Anyway, until next time, all the best, and I do hope you've got something out of this talk.